Number one, we have just authorized the use of the firing squad here in Idaho. Yes, if you commit a felony here in Idaho, you could be executed by the firing squad. As of five days ago, Idaho is one of five states in the United States to authorize this method of execution. And there's a couple of reasons behind this. First of all, uh, pharmaceutical companies have become more and more reluctant over the past several years to allow states to use their medicines to execute criminals. And because of this, it's become more and more difficult to obtain lethal injections. There's actually been several death row inmates here in Idaho who have had their executions postponed because the state of Idaho has not been able to acquire the drugs needed in order to execute these criminals. Number two, the firing squad is actually safer. According to Deborah Denno, who is a leading expert on the death penalty here in the United States, the firing squad is actually the quickest and most error-free technique that we have for execution. The actual executions are far more, more humane. There actually have been three inmates who have survived lethal injections over the past several years. And according to Deborah Denno, uh, most inmates would probably choose the firing squad over the other methods of execution that we have if given the choice. And number three, the firing squad is also much cheaper. Lethal injection drugs can cost up to $15,000 to obtain. A bullet obviously is much less than that. Now the way that it works is that if someone is sentenced to execution, the state has up to five days to obtain a lethal injection. And if it's not able to obtain that, then the person will be executed by the firing squad. There's usually four or five shooters, one of whom is given a blank round, and this is to ensure that nobody actually knows who fired the fatal shot. Now, as you probably know, late last year, there were four brutal murders up in North Idaho, and if the suspect is found guilty, he very well may face execution by the firing squad. But what do you think? Is this a controversial law or not? Number two, the state of Idaho is suing the federal government for its failure to remove grizzly bears from the endangered species list. Now, according to Brad Little, our entire congressional delegation and the state of Idaho are in agreement that grizzly bears should be delisted. And there's several reasons for this. Number one, Idaho can handle its own grizzly bear population. We don't need the federal government looking over our shoulder telling us how to manage our wildlife population. And you know what that means, right? It means some bureaucrat in Washington writing some laws about how we should manage our wildlife here in our state. But second and most important, grizzly bears are actually not endangered. There's about 2,000 grizzlies throughout the lower 48 states. Yellowstone actually has a quite robust uh, population. And if you take into account all of the bears that go through the Rockies and into Canada, there's about 60,000 total grizzlies in North America. Grizzly bears are actually harassing some Idaho residents, particularly along the Montana border. So our state is trying to strong arm the US government into delisting them. But what do you think? Should we save the bears or reduce the population? Third controversial fact about Idaho is that we are against the federal open door policy that we currently have along the US-Mexico border. Believe it or not though, this guy thinks that we don't have a problem at the border. Listen to what he has to say. The border is closed, the border is secure. Idaho doesn't believe this guy though, so in May and June, we sent our own state police force down to the Texas-Mexico border in order to help police the border there. Now you might be asking why? I mean, Idaho doesn't actually share a border with Mexico. And the answer is that we have seen a huge increase in fentanyl use in our state over the past several years. We're overwhelmed with, with fentanyl and, and the seizures of fentanyl. And all of this fentanyl has flowed into our country from Mexico and has made its way into our state. So our governor sent a number of Idaho law enforcement officers down to the Texas-Mexico border in order to assist the officers there in confiscating fentanyl and other illegal drugs that have been apprehended from criminals who have crossed the border illegally. And in order to learn the latest techniques that criminals are using to conceal the drugs so that they can then teach our law enforcement officers here in Idaho how to deal with these drugs that are flowing into our state. And in order to help with this, Idaho recently approved a 6% pay increase to our officers. 
And this is part of our Idaho First plan. But what do you think? Is putting Idaho first, enforcing our laws, and supporting the police controversial? Now, before I move on, my name is Benj Foreman. I'm an associate broker here at Triple Cord Real Estate in Boise. And if you are interested in buying a home, I actually wrote a guide on buying a home in Boise. It's got tons of information about the whole buying process, neighborhoods, things to do, schools, lots of other information. I give it out free of charge. So if you're interested, just click on the link down in the description box below. The fourth controversial fact about Idaho is our state is against removing four dams on the Lower Snake River. These dams have been quite controversial over the past several years, so much so that the US Army Corps of Engineers and several other government agencies produced a study that lasted for four years on these dams. And after their four year study, they concluded that number one, they, they reduced the risk to lives, property, and infrastructure in the region during flood events. Number two, they're important to the economy of the region. They're vital for farmers and their crops because they provide the irrigation water that is needed for farming. Four, they provide tourism to the area through boating and other water activities. And number five, they provide clean, reliable energy. Now this study seemingly hasn't reached the desk of Joe Biden. His administration has been trying to breach these dams ever since he came into office. The problem is though, we have an energy crisis here in America and breaching these dams will just make energy costs skyrocket. In any case, other studies have shown that these dams are actually quite safe for fish and breaching them would actually have very little effect on the fish population. Uh, currently, the dams have a 96% passage survival for juvenile Chinook salmon and steelhead smolts. And according to our Senator Jim Risch, who has done quite a bit of research on this, he says that, quote, a comprehensive scientific process made clear that dam breaching on the Lower Snake River is completely unnecessary and unwarranted. So on March 23rd, Senator Jim Risch introduced some legislation called the Northwest Energy Energy Security Act to protect the four Lower Snake River dams. But what do you think? Should we breach them or should we keep them? And finally, Idaho is against the controversial notion of spending more money than we make. As I'm sure you know, last month we had a robust debate in the House about raising the U.S. national debt limit. Basically, the issue was Republicans didn't want to raise the debt limit until Democrats committed to cutting spending. Government spending is out of control. You can't just continue to wildly spend money indefinitely like a drunken sailor. Now, unfortunately, the US has raised the national debt limit 78 times since 1960. We currently have $31 trillion in national debt, which is an unbelievable sum. Both of our Idaho senators voted against raising the debt ceiling. And I like what Senator Jim Risch had to say about this. He said, if Idahoans can live within their means, so can the federal federal government. Now, what he means by that is that we as individuals can't just spend more money than we make. We have to make responsible financial decisions for our families. But in addition to that, Idaho has actually shown that it's possible for the government to do that as well. Last year, the state of Idaho finished with a $1.4 billion surplus. But unfortunately, all of the Democrats and even a few Republicans believe that out of control spending is a good idea. So the US is going to continue to saddle itself with massive debt. But what do you think? Good idea?